In this video, we'll be talking about geostationary satellites. Geostationary satellites are satellites with an orbital period equal to that of Earth's rotation, which is 24 hours. This means when viewed from Earth, they always appear in the same position in the sky. Because of their relatively fixed position above Earth, geostationary satellites are useful for a variety of applications such as weather forecasting, communications, television broadcasting, and defense. Since geostationary satellites always appear in the same position in the sky, they don't require any tracking. This means that the antennas being used to send and receive signals can be fixed in place. However, one disadvantage of geostationary satellites is that signals to and from the satellite take one quarter of a second to travel. This tiny delay can end up being quite significant if you require near instant transmissions such as in telephone conversations. Now, why the delay? This is because of the large distance between the geostationary satellite and the Earth that is required for it to remain in orbit. What's the distance, you ask? Well, we can find the answer using Kepler's third law, which states that the square of the orbital period of a body is directly proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit. And this can be represented by the following formula. T squared equals 4 pi squared over gm times a cubed, where T is the orbital period, a is the semi-major axis, G is the universal gravitational constant, and M is the mass of the Earth. All we have to do is substitute in the values for T, G, and M. Simplify the equation and you'll get the answer for A. Since the orbit of a geostationary satellite is a circle, the semi-major axis is simply the distance between the satellite and the surface of the Earth plus Earth's radius. So we minus Earth's radius from the result and we'll get our answer. It's 3.59 times 10 to the power of 7 meters or 35,900 kilometers. And that's about 5.6 times larger than the Earth's radius or 40,000 Burj Al Khalifas. Well, I hope you've gained something from this video and thanks for watching.